Oh, Jason Goodman's calling me. Hello, Jason Goodman. Hello, man. Where's Travis? How are you? I'm doing all right. Just uh, heading to Arizona right now. Oh, okay. So I guess you're on a bit of a drive. I don't know if you had a chance to see my messages, but one thing I would really uh, like to get if you were able to send it is either a screen capture from your Patreon uh, dashboard or the initial email that Patreon sends you when it says AMA Biss has become a patron and shows the email associated with that account. Because what I think is happening, and this could be helpful to you if you want to proceed with your efforts to uh, contact the State Bar Association about Mr. Biss's activities, I think what he does is he has his wife make these payments to carry out whatever it is that he wants to carry out. And then he can claim, I have no idea who she's paying or why, and you can't subpoena any of her documents relative to anything having to do with her husband, and you can't cause her to testify against the husband. That sounds about right. Well, yeah, I can send so that over can. to you. I can send that over to you, no problem, actually. Uh, I don't have any problem yeah. doing that. Please, I actually did get that, that email. Sorry? I actually did get that email, and I'll, I like I, it gives me a couple. I have a couple of messages for like however many months she was on my thing, and then I'll, I'll send you like a copy of that shows you the same what email she was using. Yeah, yeah. Usually the way it goes is when Patreon when she first signs up, there's probably an email that says like congratulations, AMA Biss just became your supporter and it'll have her email on there, and I'll just include that as an exhibit with the thing that I'm filing today. So if you can send that as soon as you're able, that would be very helpful. And then the thing that's interesting is that if my case is concluded and the judge says, yeah, okay, this, this evidence does seem to indicate what Goodman is saying, you can use that judge's decision as an element in something you would write to the Bar Association saying, hey, look, this judge determined that it is likely that this is making these uh, inappropriate payments. I mean, he's, he's not supposed to be paying you if you're his client, and particularly if that payment is coming during a time that you are engaged in activities like making videos about his lawsuit that spread allegations around the internet that aren't true and things like that. So. That's my position, that he had someone paying you to do that stuff. He's been working with Robert David Steele. You were working with Robert David Steele at the time. Swigert was working with you. Tyrone Simpson was working with you and Swigert. And these are the elements of conspiracy. I mean, yeah, you got the conspiracy down pretty well. I mean, I'll send you everything that shows you that, you know, she was my Patreon and that she was paying me through Patreon for sure. But I mean, was yeah, I working fine. in concert with Dave acting all those guys? Yeah, fuck it, why not? I'll say whatever. <laughs> well, don't say whatever. I'm only interested in hearing the truth. I mean, Dave Acton has sent you money through Super Chat, so he's paying you. I mean, they're here saying they're not paying you. They're not exchanging information with you. But yet, Dave Acton calls you up and says, hey, Jason Goodman is being paid $3,000 a month. A shadow box, which is run by all these Israeli Mossad guys. Wait, who said that? At the same that? time that Robert David Steele says that. Shadow? Did Robert David Steele mention shadow box? When did he do that? He didn't mention shadow box, but Robert David Steele went on to Victorus Libertas and said that discovery in his lawsuit has revealed that Goodman is being paid three thousand dollars a month. Then Dave Acton, or in close, you know. Oh, that was the Arnon Mishlon stuff. Huh? They were, that's when they were saying that you were working with Arnon Mishlon or Milchit, the right, Hollywood right. guy. You sent me that email that Schrodenberger had sent you. So what I'm saying is Schrodenberger is sending information to Swigert. Schrodenberger is sending information to Steele. I mean, he's a, he's a point of contact to what I've alleged is that they, of course, they aren't having direct communication. I mean, they, you know. Strictly talking about Swigert and Steele, they're both, according to their own statements, ex-military and, and you know, contractors or employees of clandestine agencies at the CIA and the Department of Homeland Security. They both have signals intelligence expertise and experience. And so I, my allegation is that they're, you know, whether or not those statements are true, they are using military and intelligence tactics to invade 
civil legal procedures by saying things like, I've never communicated with Robert David Steele. Well, they can plausibly say that because if Thomas Schrodenberger tells Robert David Steele, go tell everybody Goodman works for Mossad, and Thomas Schrodenberger tells Swigert to tell you to tell everybody that they're working for Mossad, well, they are in a conspiracy. They may not be communicating with each other, but they are conspiring by uh, Schrodenberger to do that. Anyway, send me those documents if you can, and I'm going to proceed with this. i got to get it out today by six o'clock in new york so it's only another three and a half hours okay well uh as soon as i stop for gas the next time i'll pull it up on my little laptop and uh get that over to you thank you very much no problem man uh anything else i can do for you that's it i appreciate the help all right man you have yourself a good one take care Bye.